All right, now we have this form, right? So before it was just x squared. Now it's x as a bi with inside a binomial, which is being squared. And when we do that, right here, see how we've got minus h? h would be subtracting a positive value is kind of the way that we look at that. The h value is the x value in the vertex, and then the y value is 0. Okay, so whatever h is, that's also the x value in the line of symmetry, so x is h. I guess here's what I mean by that. So on a graph, if I had a regular parabola x squared, it should look something like this. Okay, I have a vertex at 0, 0. I have an axis of symmetry, which is x equals 0. But right here, notice that the vertex is now h0. What that means is that this form right here is going to move the parabola to the right or the left. So if I moved it to the right, I would have something like this. Okay. Now notice the vertex did not move up or down. It just moved to the right. That's why it changes the x value on this. What's the y value? Well, that's on the x-axis. That's not the line of symmetry, by the way. Uh, so this ends up just being h0. That's our vertex. And now our new axis of symmetry is at the value where x equals the h. I think my handwriting got real bad right there, but I hope it makes sense. All right, so here's another function. h of x equals x plus 2, that quantity squared. So if we wanted it in this form, though, notice that's x plus, I'm sorry, x, x minus h. But right here we've got x plus 2. So to change this, I would make that x minus a negative 2. And we're going to square that. So this is what h of x is. And this will help us also with the vertex. Because the vertex is this h value. So that would be, that's our x value for that, negative 2 and 0. Which would give us this point right here. In addition to that, it gave us the axis of symmetry, which is where x equals this x value in the vertex, which is negative 2. So that would give us this line. So there's our axis of symmetry. And this is two of our answers right here, but we still need the graph, of course. So on uh, this one, you know, Take my table down here just so it doesn't get in the way and we have some space. This is h of x. Um, so I have the axis of symmetry where x is negative 2. So I'm just going to go to the right from there, which would be negative 1, 0, 1. And I can try 2, I guess. So when x is negative 1, I got uh, negative 1 plus 2, which is 1. And I square that to get 1. So negative 1, 1. Now, again, it mirrors itself over that axis of symmetry, so that would give me that point right there, too. Well, what about it when x is 0? Then you got 0 plus 2, which is 2. 2 squared is 4. So 0, 4. And we could say that's a y-intercept if we want. Not that we really care right now. And then x is 1, so 1 plus 2 is 3. 3 squared is 9. So I got 1, 9 be about right here and yes these are being reflected over the axis of symmetry as well so that gives us these other points and then I've got 2 plus 2 is 4 squared is 16 so I got 2 16 which would be this point and then in the other direction as well yeah, about right there now I just connect the points with this nonlinear function. And that'll do. I guess I this one a little bit bigger. That looks pretty good. And there's our graph.